What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another exciting video. Today we're gonna be talking a little bit about foldables. Of course, we know the Fold 4, Flip 4 launch coming up next month. I'm gonna be talking about five fatal flaws with the Z Fold 3 Samsung could improve for the Z Fold 4 that would make people want to purchase it. Now, before I get started, I wanna remind you guys, I am doing a huge promotion for people who are pre-ordering the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4. If you want to get a free mystery box, 100% free, free shipping, everything is free. All you have to do is go over to my website and you need to be pre-ordering one of these devices. You click on the link, add it to cart. It's for US only. You're gonna get a case, you're gonna get a stand, a phone stand, and you're gonna get a cleaning kit for your device. That's gonna be shipped out maybe like a week after you receive the phone. I'm doing this just to give back to the Samsung community. I will require proof of pre-order closer to launch. So please make sure that you're not just getting one to try to get the free stuff and you're not actually gonna have the phone because it will have cases specifically for the device. I also have one for the Flip 4 and I'm also giving away free screen protectors and cleaning kits for those of you ordering a Galaxy Watch 5 or Watch 5 Pro. So check that out. The link will be in the description, dopetechdaily.net slash preorder. Now let's talk about these five things that I think Samsung can really bring to the Z Fold 4 that will make it a more compelling device. And let's talk about how likely I think each of those is. The first thing I feel like is the biggest deal for me is having a wider screen. Because on the Z Fold 3, the main reason that I didn't use it for the full year, and I eventually went to my S22 Ultra as my main device, is because this front screen is just too narrow for me. I know some people say you get used to texting on it, I really don't because I send a lot of emails, not only for YouTube, but for my day job at the university. And I just find it really hard to send emails on the go and texting on the go on this phone. And opening it up is also annoying because then I've got to have two hands to do it. And it just makes it quite difficult to answer emails and triage email on the go. It does seem pretty likely that we're going to get a slightly wider aspect ratio on the front screen and a more square aspect ratio on the inside instead of this really tall one that we have now. All the leaks suggest that it's going to be a very small change though, so I'm not sure that this is going to satiate me or other people who've had complaints about this, but it should be nice to have a slightly wider cover screen, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. The next thing is one that I think a lot of other people make a big deal about that I don't really care about as much, and that is having a less visible crease on the inner display. Now, a lot of people say that their number one reason for not switching over to a foldable device and instead keeping something more traditional like the S22 Ultra is because they really don't like the crease. And when they look at it, it just really bothers them on a daily basis. Now, of course, when the phone is off like this, you can see it very, very noticeably. But when I turn the phone on and I'm using it on a daily basis, and I do still use this phone a ton. I actually use it at the house a lot when I'm sitting on the couch and I wanna browse the internet or I wanna watch some media. I just love to have this phone out because it's got such a nice big canvas for doing those things. I don't really notice the crease. I mean, you can see it if you turn it like a really, really weird angle, but when it's straight on like this, you guys can see even in the video, the crease is not that noticeable. You really have to turn it pretty far off axis for it to bother me. So even though we have heard Samsung is likely going to reduce the noticeability of the crease, I think that's gonna make a huge difference to a lot of other people not such a huge difference to me because it didn't bother me before with foldable devices. And I've been perfectly happy using my Z Fold 3 with the current crease that is built in with this device. The next one is one that is highly unlikely in my opinion. We really haven't seen any leaks of this. One thing that I really wanted with the fold devices from the very beginning is this right here, a built-in S Pen, just like on my S22 Ultra. Now I know a lot of people say the S Pen might be a gimmick, but for me, it is not a gimmick whatsoever. I use the S Pen for absolutely everything in my day job, as well as taking notes for my YouTube channel, making video outlines. It's an essential part of my daily work. You guys can see I have all my toggles kind of set up you know, nicely the way I have here with the math toggles, my note-taking apps. I use it all the time. Having a built-in S Pen with the Z Fold 4 would be absolutely massive for me. But from what we've seen with all the leaks and device and the body of the device, we would have to have an S Pen silo down here, and it just doesn't seem like we're gonna get that because it feels like that would have leaked by now if it was gonna happen. But just imagine having a built-in S Pen to take notes on this canvas. I know you can use the current S Pen that they had for the Z Fold 3, but it's really, really difficult to carry around when it's not built in. I had one and I actually lost one once and I bought another one. 
and I just keep it in my bag, but then it's not there when I need it on the go. So it's not nearly as useful as the S Pen on my S22 Ultra. The next thing is a one terabyte variant. People have been asking for this for a while. We have a one terabyte variant of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and people have been asking, can we get the same for our foldables, the flip and the fold? And it looks like Samsung is gonna do that, but the problem is, according to most of the leaks, the one terabyte model is going to be limited to certain regions. Now, Samsung does this quite a bit. They limit certain colors, certain features, certain storage variants, RAM variants to specific, specific regions. And it's very annoying because, you know, you see that this phone's available in one terabyte or a specific color somewhere else, but then it's not available in your country. It's quite disappointing. It looks like that's going to be the case again, unfortunately. And the last thing is something we're definitely getting and is something that will also make the experience a lot better. And that is better optimized software for folding screens. We are gonna get One UI 4.1.1, which is based on Android 12L. That is Google's new version of Android that is specifically built for improving foldable devices like the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4. And that's guaranteed to launch with these foldables. That's going to make sure that you're not using, you know, like you see here, like when you drag down the top, all this space isn't being utilized properly. When you go into landscape, none of this space is being utilized properly in the quick settings. Lots of little things like that with menus, with media, with multitasking. A lot of those things are gonna be improved at a high level in One UI 4.1.1. And that's gonna make this honestly a much nicer phone to use because some of the biggest issues with foldables are not really hardware related, but more related to Android not being optimized for screens that can do that. So I'm really looking forward to these five things. I think these are five things that are gonna make a big impact to a lot of people. Hopefully you'll consider buying a foldable in the future as well if they fix some of these issues. I'll be picking up one, doing a lot of coverage on it. Of course, I won't be forgetting about the S22 Ultra or any of you other Samsung users out there, but I'm really excited for the launch. Again, if you wanna get one of those free mystery boxes, check the link in the description, sign up on my website, 100% free. I will be emailing people soon if you signed up to get some information and also let you know how the verification process will work. That way everyone understands when we get close to launch how to do that so I can get your boxes shipped out on time. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.